Welcome back and hello if you are new. So thank you ever so much for tuning into my channel and to hang out with me whilst I geek out about metal. <laughs> Individuality is perhaps the true holy grail of the creative mind. And it's not often that artists are able to attain a sense of true originality. However, Rome's very own bedsore have created something absolutely magical on their brand new album that deserves the title of Individual as we look into hypnagogic hallucinations. <laughs> In terms of sound, Bedsaw combined the theatricality of Iron Maiden with the kind of heavy metal drama that was seen on King Diamond. Alongside this, there's the power of Morbid Angel, but with the dexterity of death, all tied together in a 70s prog rock style bow. Kind of like King Crimson, like late era Opeth, think that kind of vibe. Despite the musical wanderings, the record always seems to return to the same key. But the thing is, is that it keeps advancing and it makes you think, because it's in the same key, that you've heard this sort of riff or this lick before, but you actually haven't and creates a really great sense of déjà entendu. Atmosphere is the second most important quality, I think, to the character of this record. The kind of vibe that it put me in is that sort of eerie, ghostly feel that I always get when I listen to The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner by Iron Maiden. It's the otherworldly and mysterious tones that drive that sense of spine-tingling kind of curiosity. I also love the fact that the band will bring that section in and then it can disappear in an instant. Now the elements of heavy metal, as I mentioned earlier on, pertain particularly to guitar leads and solos. Cauliflower growth creates a vast sense of the cinematic using these melodies. Dissonance is also important to highlight the contrast of the melody and also kind of introduce the idea of aggression, which is a very big part of this album as well. Though where death metal is concerned, as I mentioned, it's definitely morbid angel and death sized riffs that really kind of push everything forward. <laughs> Shimmering cleans cascade on this bleak atmosphere to really create something vivid, particularly on Mountains of Madness, where you could see this kind of landscape in the horizon. Tracks wither but also bloom in kind of a cyclical fashion, and it's very much an ebb and flow kind of quality to the record. There's even a sense of pianissimo at the end of Disembowelment of the Souls with this amazing bass solo. This is the perfect segue into the album's final track, Brains on the Tarmac, which is almost kind of what the album's been leading up to and has this sense of Metallica Call of Cthulhu style catharsis about it before it returns to nothing and makes you want the entire record all over again. In a time where individuality can be scarce and copycats are often common, Bedsaw have created an album which does call itself truly individual and for me deserves to have them cement their name amongst the elite of this new era of death metal that we're in. guys enjoyed this album review if you did hit that like and subscribe button be sure to check out all my other album reviews my monthly favorites interviews all sorts of good stuff on my channel leave a comment and let me know what you think you can also follow me on all of the socials at the metal tris and i will see you guys very very soon for another album review take care my friends